15 watch. I'm gonna show you each of these watches and why they're in my collection. But let's start with the Tudor Pelagos. This watch checks a lot of boxes. I like it quite a bit. I like the titanium build. I like the way titanium feels against the skin. It's lightweight and despite it's relatively large size because of the titanium it wears very well other things i like love the blue color the applied indices boom this thing is bright when it's charged up and it'll get you through a night and still easy to read in the morning bezel is loomed as well ceramic bezel excellent bezel action 60 clicks Excellent finishing, great articulation in the links as you can see. You can kind of stack these links. Clasp is awesome, tons of adjustability. Helium escape valve, you just can't go wrong with a Tudor. They make a great watch. I think this watch doesn't get near enough attention in the dive community. Don't know why. This is the ball Nidu 600 meter water resistance chronograph also titanium this watch is incredible the build is fantastic it's not a lightweight watch but considering the size i would say it's lightweight wears extremely well once again because of titanium ceramic bezel got your tritium tubes on the indices hour markers minute markers all the hands with the exception of the second hand at the nine o'clock position you got your day and date complications and a chronograph even the pushers on the chronograph are tritium tube lit bezel is loomed with super luminova so you got a bezel timer and a chronograph timer chronograph can be operated underwater you have this awesome crown guard push this open it up this prevents you from not closing your crown before going in the water which is one of the biggest causes of water damage. Bracelet is titanium. Center links are steel. Clasp is very nice. Ball logo, very well made. You are not gonna go wrong with a ball watch ever. Beautiful engraving on the case back. Looks like it's held together with torque screws on your end links, two of them. This thing is a beast, it is a tank. It is one tough diver. Jeanault way underrated watch but so happy with it this watch is incredibly made i'm going to say it's as good as any high-end watch out there that's under fifteen thousand dollars very thin profile 200 meter water resistance love the applied indices again awesome loom on it the bezel is a sapphire bezel with loom the bezel action is the best bezel action of any watch that I have. Case finishing, impeccable, nice bevel, bracelet, very well executed, and it has this quick, this quick adjust bracelet. So you put it to where you want it. I mean, that's like almost two links worth of adjustment. Put it where you want it, snap it in place, done. Longine, this is the Longine. I think it's a 44 millimeter like this watch because of the size. It's big, it's easy to read. It is the ceramic. So whatever the largest ceramic is, I think it's a 44. But great loom, you got a day complication and a high power reserve, 300 meter water resistance. It's not too thick. Love the crown guards, this is very comfortable. Great watch. Rolex Datejust. These things are very well made. What I like about this configuration is the white dial, the batons, and the regular loomed indices. Nothing fancy about this watch. It's all steel, smooth bezel. This is kind of like a sport watch, 100 meter water resistance. So it's almost like a fancy Explorer or perhaps an Explorer 2 without the GMT complication. But I like how it has the coronet a distinctive Rolex crown. I also like the Cyclops. I'd rather my watches not have a date complication at all, but if you're going to, I like the Cyclops. 
It's very nicely done. Clasp, very nice. Very comfortable to wear. The finishing is good. Can't go wrong with one of those. Another ball. This is an engineer hydrocarbon. This is a limited edition. This is 146 of 390. Again, tritium tubes, sapphire covered bezel, and your bezel is loomed with tritium as well. It has this PVD coating, yet it still kind of feels like steel. I like the clasp. You can see the ball engraving on it. Very easy to deploy. It's well made. And for the price, you're not going to go wrong with a ball. Christopher Ward, Trident Pro 300. Another great watch. I did a review on this watch, actually, because of how much I like it. You got a loomed bezel. Excellent bezel action. Very thin. Very nice K-shape. Great loom on the indices. The indices are well polished and well made. They are applied. The bracelet is excellent. So ceramic bezel, easy to read, high quality, very low cost. Excellent watch, highly recommend. Steinhardt. This is the 904L, one of their watches from their so-called premium line. So it's made of 904L stainless, it's very nice steel. It's a little more corrosion resistance or resistant than the regular, what is it, the 316 stainless. But the Steinhardt, excellent loom, applied indices, Salita movement, bezel action, fantastic. This is a Swiss watch, 904L stainless, loomed bezel, loomed indices, and well under $1,000. Lots of value there. Can't go wrong. Seiko. I think this is an alpinist of some kind i wanted a watch that was like a field watch but yet still had 200 meter water resistance love the way it looks classic design again applied indices great loom keeps great time dome sapphire crystal the finishing is pretty good clasp very nice for the price you are never going to go wrong with this watch san martin Hated by many. This watch was highly discounted. And I wanted to see what they were all about. Supposedly, this is a 200-meter water-resistant watch. Swiss movement, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. It's an automatic. It keeps great time. And everything that they said about it on the website was true. The only thing I think is lacking would be the clasp. I think it could be a little better it's not poor by any means still a great watch for somebody that's very budget conscious and still wants to get a decent automatic watch i'm going to say you're not going to go wrong with a san martin it's another san martin i got this as part of the deal i thought it was pretty cool that they you know made a watch that looked like this i'm sure they're trying to imitate something but just you can check out the brushing on it the finishing's pretty good. Again, you have decent loom. The indices are not applied. Bezel action is good. Keeps great time. But again, 200 meter water resistance. And for the price, a couple hundred bucks. Can't go wrong. This is a watch brand that is hated by a lot of people. I actually like the brand. I like the look of tag watches. I'm going to say they're a little overpriced. And this is a quartz one. Got this a long time ago, just because I liked the way it looked. I think it's a great looking watch. If this had an ETA movement, fantastic. They make some nice looking watches in my opinion. Sunto Core, and I think this is called the Crush version. Like these watches, when I lived in the mountains, this was a critical tool to have. Number one, the barometer worked very well for letting you know when the storms are moving in, but more importantly, the altimeter. So what's nice about these altimeters is you can use it as a frame of reference. If you know you parked your vehicle at 9,000 feet and you're at 13,000 feet, let's say fog moves in or storm moves in 
and you're coming down off the mountain and you really can't recognize any landmarks, you can look at your altimeter and see exactly where you're at and know how much further you have to descend to get back down. Very useful tool. Love the Suntos and they are just tough. This was my first one right here. And I put this one through the paces. This is the white on black or the reverse, what is it, LCD display. But the reason I got the other one is because it is hard to read. They say they're only like 30 meters or 100 feet water resistance. But even though it's only like 30 meters, you can take this thing swimming. And then it has a depth meter. So it has an altimeter and a depth meter on it. Just for a tough watch, low cost, can't go wrong. Last but not least, definitely not least, G-Shock Square. This is probably the watch that I would want to have in a SHTF situation. This would be my bug out watch. 200 meter water resistance. You can fall on it. You can see I've used this thing hard. Sinks with the atomic clock. Solar powered. It's always going to be dead on. This is one tough watch. Thanks for watching. If you like this video in any way, just click the like button. I would appreciate it. It's always nice to see that people appreciate what you did. If you have any questions or comments, put them below. I will try to respond.